A very, very wonderful day to each and every one of you that are listening and watching the program today. This is Pastor Jerry Fortunato, the pastor of Berlin Baptist Church in Berlin, New Jersey, and it's always a pleasure to come and share with you the Word of God. This coming Sunday is a special Sunday in the life of so many of us Americans. The day has been set aside as Father's Day. <clears throat> and I want to address that particular topic today with regard to <clears throat> why we celebrate Father's Day and what the Word of God says about Father's Day. Because there is a need, a deep need in our world today with regard to men to stand up and be counted. The world needs more men. It's not that we have a shortage of uh, human male beings. However, unfortunately, many men <clears throat> are not a, assuming their role. You can be born male, but it takes maturity to become a man. Someone has well said, and I quote, <clears throat> you're only young once, but immaturity can last forever. Real men are not necessarily born. <clears throat> they are made. The Word of God has something specific to say about that. Great men of the Bible. There are so many of them. Let me just bring to your attention one that is very special to me. Moses was the great emancipator and he directed and led the children of Israel. On their sojourn, they were delivered from the hands of the wicked Pharaoh, crossed over. And when the time came for Moses to leave his duties and God took him, he had a successor by the name of Joshua. Joshua lived in the shadow of Moses. Joshua looked to Moses as his mentor. And now the responsibility falls upon Joshua. And he becomes fearful, he becomes intimidated. And Joshua said, and I read, Moses, my servant is dead. Moses is dead. And all he could think of was, how can I fill the shoes of this mighty man of valor? But God called him to do that. And I read again the scripture. The first thing that God said to Joshua was this, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never, ever leave you, nor forsake you. To put that in today's vernacular, God was saying to Joshua, listen, Joshua, I've got your back. I'm going to be with you. He was saying to Joshua, it's okay to be afraid. It's okay to feel like quitting. It's okay to think it's too difficult. It's okay because you're human. I'm happy to say that I'm a father. I'm a father of four children. I'm a grandfather of five children. But let me assure you, when I knew that I was going to become a father for the first time, I didn't get instructions by ordering a book from Amazon, 
may be titled, How to Raise Children. When you buy an appliance, dishwasher, or a, a, a sweeper, a washer, you get a book of instructions. That does not happen when you become a parent. See, that certainly does not happen when you become a parent. You need to learn what it takes and what it means to be a father. And so I want to encourage all dads today. If you are a dad, what is it that you need to do to bring up your children in the right way as to how God would be pleased? When it comes to a definition of being a real man of God, you can go to the Bible and let that be your instruction book. Listen to what the Word of God has to say. God's Word says, if you follow the instruction in my Word, you will be that man. My prayer is, God, give us more Joshua's. We look around us and the philosophy of the world is this. So many men say, I want to be a man's man. God is saying, I want you to be a God's man. I want you to be a God's man. I remind you of the situation again that Joshua faced. He was fearful. He was intimidated. But Joshua realized that he was going to put his faith, he was going to put his trust in God. And I appeal to men today, whether you're a father, whether you're a grandfather, whether you're an uncle, whether a family friend, act like a man. God will give you the faith, the courage, the strength, the love that you can raise your family. You can, again, look to him to give you the strength. The need for today is this. I don't want you to think that church or Christianity is only for women and kids. We need men. The church needs men. Men have a crucial role, not just in business and national affairs, but men have a role in the church and in family. Our families need godly, loving, strong husbands and fathers. And so men, I challenge you today, be that kind of man. Be that Joshua that we talked about. One of the greatest things that could be said about each and every one of you that are listening today. Like father, like son. Amazing. Father's Day often becomes a time of inventory. And so, may you say, as the prophet of old, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. My prayer is that you will be <clears throat> that godly, kind, loving man that God is looking for. Then you will truly have a blessed and happy Father's Day. I want to pray for all of the men today. Would you pray with me? Dear God, we just thank you for men. We thank you for fathers. We thank you for those individuals that have been set aside to lead families. You've called men to be the high priest of their homes. These are difficult times. Give the wisdom, give the guidance, give the patience to those men that have assumed the high calling of being a dad, being a father. 
as they lead their families. May they look to you like Joshua did. May they be men of courage, men that will take instruction from your word. Bless every man today that is a dad, that you will endue them so that they will have the joy of seeing their children. To be followers of you, we thank you and we praise you as you again hear the prayer of men who call upon thee. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Happy Father's Day to all of you and may God richly bless you as you continue to serve him.